everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna talk on how to start your fitness journey tips for beginners hello everyone i'm artesia and if you're new to my channel welcome this is a vegan and healthy lifestyle channel and fitness based so you will find lots of tips about fitness and about being vegan and plant-based diet in today's video i want to talk about how to start this fitness journey and tips that will help you to start and going along in the healthier way possible so i would like to talk on why we're starting our fitness journey so i know many of you will say well i want to lose weight i want to look toned and i want just to be healthy but this reason usually is not the main reason there is something deeper so sometimes can be maybe because uh, you've been overweight all your life and you feel like that is stopping by doing something important for example i don't know engaging some sport on playing with your kids so yeah it's something really deep usually so on the surface of course everyone wants to look nice and of course change our appearance but sometimes it's something deeper so find your why that's the first tip find your why find why you actually want to do it because if you want to for example just being shred on a beach ball just for the summer that's not gonna last long because of course when the summer is finished you haven't got that motivation or the drive to actually keep the fitness journey because of course you know you don't need to wear your bikini or anything like this so we just need to find the why that is gonna be sustainable for us in the long term so like I said usually it's health related or something that is gonna make us feel better and improve our daily lifestyle so find your why and that will be the best tips that i can give just to actually think about it that change now that we find our why we need to set goals so how do you set goals so if your goal for example is to lose weight uh, tone up or even just starting exercise we need to do it slowly and we need to actually write it down what we want to do to break it down in steps and phases because many people think that when they took the decision they contemplate and they took the decision to actually take the step to start the fitness journey or start to exercise or diet plan anything like this they actually think all of a sudden they will do so i heard many people on monday diet start monday i'm starting to go to the gym so you can do that because that will last just for a little while when you got the motivation and it will not be a long term not so sustainable to actually do it so what we need is set the goals and make sure the goals they're achievable so the smaller they are more achievable they will be so if in the beginning it will be just to get up and actually going to the gym or just exercise even for a walk that can be enough so don't set up a goal of going to the gym and lifting 100 kilo right we want to start small so actually gain up and going to do the activity that's already a goal that it can be achievable and it can make you feel that you actually are doing something towards the goal it's not going to feel overwhelmed because you're not looking at the big picture you are looking at different phases that you break it down so phase one done then you can go to the next so make sure they are achievable and then you set them goals write it down that's the best way write it down that okay july will be this one august will be this one and this way they will be more achievable my next tips is indeed to start small like i said if you like to start an exercise a routine exercise plan or anything that involve activities um, you will need to start small so if you're thinking okay i want to start lifting weight i want to start to run you're not gonna pick up the 50 kilo dumbbell do you no of course so what we'll need to do is break it down and start small even if you're really beginner to the exercise and you never exercised before not even step into the gym not even went for a run the important is to start small so what you can do is set the goal of 10 minutes of walk every day or two gym sessions per week this is achievable it will make sure that you don't feel overwhelmed when you don't see for example the goal that you want because many people think i want to lose for example uh, one stone seven kilo and okay it's two three weeks i didn't lose that but if you actually be realistic and you break down the 
goal and you actually start small, you will think, okay, I did lose one kilo, I did lose two pounds, and then and that will feel that you're actually going forward in your journey and you don't look that big picture that can really feel overwhelming because you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do that. Because many people sometimes don't even start a fitness journey because they think, oh, I got too much weight to lose. If you do break down, you got just that weight to lose in the month, right? We don't look in that big picture. So we're not looking at the big amount of weight that we want to lose, the big amount of weight that we want to lift. Right? So we need to be realistic, short and goals that will actually determine to be a long term result. So start to go for a walk. That's the easiest. Even if you don't want to go to the gym lifting weight, activity can be anything that will move your body. Doesn't mean that you need to lift weight. Doesn't mean that you need to run on a treadmill. So my next tip will be actually related to that because it is find your perfect match. What do I mean perfect match? No, not about a couple, not about your boyfriend. It will be to find what you love about activities or exercise. Many people tell me, Marfisa, I don't want to lift weight. No problem. We can achieve the goal in many different ways. If you like, for example, boxing, if you like walking, swimming, that's great. Or if you like to go hiking, Anything that will move your body and can burn calorie is what you need to achieve that goal. And if you think, okay, I want to become stronger, but I don't want to lift weight, I don't want to look masculine, I don't want to do anything like this that will make me look uh, indifferent, I just want to lose weight and become stronger. There is many ways to do so. So you don't need just the gym or you don't need just a treadmill to make sure that you're losing that weight and you start a new journey. Like I said, even walking, hiking, do different like Zumba class. I'm a Zumba instructor and there's so many of my clients that want to lose weight, they don't want to start in the gym. They start in my Zumba classes. So that's a perfect way to make sure that you actually start with something that you enjoy. If you don't enjoy exercise, if you don't enjoy cardio, if you don't enjoy lifting weights, how you can be uh, sure that you're gonna sustain for a long time. So find your perfect match. Find what you like and keep to it. You can still progress even if it's not weight-wise. You can still progress in your, for example, run. Anything that you want to do and it is involved in activity, so moving your body, that will make sure that you enjoy it and that you achieve your goal. So my next tip will be track your progress. So if you're a completely beginner and like I said, you've got lots of weight to lose or you just want to exercise, it will be really, really overwhelming if you're thinking that it will take a really long time, it will take, you know, too much to achieve those goals. If you track your progress and, for example, the weight, the scale is not moving, you can track your, pro your progress in different ways, for example, like pictures or like measurement. All my clients that, for example, want to lose weight and um, they wanted to do it in a long term and sustainable way, healthy way, I just tell them to throw the scale away and just wait just every one month, every two months. Why? Because picture measurement is the actually way to track the progress in a realistic way because if you're especially lifting weight, you're building muscle mass, your weight can even increase, but you're gonna look completely different because your body composition will change, uh, your body fat will go down, doesn't mean that the scale needs to go down, right? So you will need to track the progress and make sure we log in every month or every three weeks uh, the progress that we made, that can be weight wise, that can be centimeters, inches wise, that can be lifting more weight, that can be anything that we know that we're improving. The goal is to improve on ourselves, right? That's why we start an exercise. And that's why we start in eating healthy or just taking a choice, the first step to do so, right? So if we improve it even a little bit, even if today I'm walking 10 minutes and in one month I'm, I'm walking half an hour, that's still a progress. The progress is not what you think uh, in a big, big picture. It's the small thing that you do every day that can make sure that is 
achieve that progress make sure that you're actually doing something to better yourself so yes yeah, track your progress and make sure you write everything down and that will be like a perfect way to review go back review and think yes i did improve i'm in it right way even though i'm not there yet my next tips and this is really really important because so many people rely on that is don't rely on motivation what do i mean by this Many people think motivation is the key for weight loss, for like, to be successful on your fitness journey, and it's the opposite. I'm thinking, for example, today I'm starting, I got so much motivation, and for two, three weeks I have my motivation on top. I'm meeting the gym, I'm eating healthy, I'm doing my walk, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do, and after three weeks, my motivation out of the window, what am I gonna do? So what we need to do is making the motivation something that we're not going to rely on. We're not going to use as a first tool to make sure we're achieving our goal. Motivation comes and goes. Motivation cannot wake you up in one year from now to go to the gym. It cannot wake you up when you are tired if you're in a calorie deficit and you're losing weight eventually you get tired so you will feel like you don't want to wake up you don't want to exercise right so we need to make sure the motivation is just something that we have as on the side as something that okay maybe i can rely sometimes but not all the time because habits is what you actually gonna build to make sure that you count on it. So my next tip is habits. So motivation is the beginning and usual of the fitness journey. Habits is what's gonna be sustainable for you. Make sure that you're actually going through that process and you're not get actually tired with it because how many people think because it's taking a long time, my motivation is gone, I cannot be bothered to get up today, I cannot go to the gym, anything like this. So I'm definitely thinking habits, right? If I don't want to wake up this morning to go to the gym, right, and I have just motivation, I'm not gonna wake up, right? I'm not gonna think I'm going, I want to sleep. If the habits is there, you will wake up anyway. Why? Right. Are you thinking you're going to work, your alarm's going off, I'm gonna stay in bed? No. Why? Because you haven't got a choice. So the habit is to wake up and you have to go to work, right? So if we think in the same as exercise, as um, doing healthy lifestyle, you know, routines, you will do the same because you haven't got that choice in your mind, you know, it's your routine, you know, you're gonna go through that motion as you're going to work, as you doing anything that you need to do in life. I'm not I'm not talking about like forcing yourself, right? I'm talking about creating the habits and routine because routine is the first key. If you're thinking you have your routine with your kids, taking to school or having your routine of like having dinner, cooking dinner and having the routine of exercise, it's the same thing. You need to build it. You cannot just wake up and do so and pretend it's going to be there every day. You need to build as building any habits or any good habits right so make sure this is becoming your lifestyle eventually if we think we're just gonna lose weight and we're gonna exercise for a while just to get off that weight that's not the right way to do it because because it's gonna be an end we don't want to actually end i'm not talking about losing weight forever i'm talking about being healthy forever being healthy in a long term so even though when you're gonna achieve that weight loss um, goal or like achieve for example you know uh, gain the more muscle mass or anything like this the habits will remain there that routine is gonna be there and you can still progress and feel better by yourself even though you're not losing weight anymore or you don't need to lose weight anymore so habits is the first key don't rely on motivation and for all the beginners i will just want to congratulate with you all to watching this video because if you're watching this video that means that you want to make that change and you want to make that choice of being healthy start to exercise and feeling better by yourself and uh, for people around you because this can really change your life it's not just something that you will do for a while and keep on the side if you actually bring it to your lifestyle and make sure it is there 
and the long term it can change your life so thank you so much for watching this video you you make sure you comment below with your thoughts your question and let me know what you think about all this tip do you implement in your life do you want to start to implement in your life and if you need help you can email me here because i can really help you to start those habits to start your fat loss journey to start building the muscle mass if you need to if you want to and to start to make you feel better about yourself because that's what we want in the long term feeling healthy and confident in our body so you make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and inbox me and you can find me in instagram i'll put it here below dm me there that would be great to know your feedback and take care of yourself and remember we can make that change Speak to you soon. Bye.